Alright there guys, what is up? Christopher here, or Chris, also known as Skyrunner here on YouTube. I'm here to make a bit of a video really about why the reactions of the Pokemon community are so natural and why every time a new change is of course happening, why the drama is created. It seems to be a very misconception that all the drama, all the difference of opinions here are something that's being just really eased up upon and just being shifted as something that shouldn't be bothered with. People are haters. People with a different opinions are not real fans. Most people know these arguments. They're not worth anything. If anything, they don't resolve to anything at all. And it's important to realize why they aren't. And also, why some influencers really fail to calm the masses, as they might very well be the fuel of the conversation that creates the narrative that makes everybody, in lack of better words, enemies. First and foremost, I'm gonna link something down below that really define what the evolution of a group dynamic is, or a group evolution. Here in Sweden, it's called the IMGD, and um, yeah, it's actually something that has been tested and proven before, something I use when I need to create, um, when I need to understand why my group dynamic doesn't work. I work a lot with leadership, and recently I've been taking a few courses to make myself a coach of over two others about leadership. So first and foremost, we have four phases to take in mind. Phase number one is something that's called a comfort zone, or something of bonding, uh, that I belong in this group. Pokemon is very much representing just that. It's a personal passion, everybody has some value of when it comes to that you burn for Pokemon. It is, it's your thing. Hobbies are like that, it's a, something you can develop your time with. It feels natural to enjoy this, to embrace it. Pokemon battles can be that too. And what comes into this is basically your personal experience of relaxing or enjoying yourself. Pokemon represents that. It's actually rather simple. Now, the second part is that when you go in a community, this is something you share. Everybody that you will, you know, talk with has this. Pokemon is what I like. You like it for a different reason, but you like it. It's very easy to talk to a person that is, in this conversation, a Pokemon fan. You can debate about that. And everything is just fine. The more so when you get to know somebody new, yeah, it's very easy. You're always very polite and um, yeah it's actually a interesting and a good time the second phase when a group is evolving that phase two is actually called a conflict phase this is where you realize that exactly what makes pokemon so very good for you doesn't make pokemon that very good for somebody else they think something else that you don't agree with their passion and yeah this is where often where people are colliding and there are discussions and people are offended and conflict are created. This is where a lot of people sadly fail and this is go more towards Twitter where they can, there aren't really a conversed or a change of values and why you think the way they do. It's just a blank statement of this is how it is and somebody has to respond with something different. Reason I, choose to actually mention Joe Merrick in this situation is because he is one of the most in value influencer in the Pokemon community. He's very correct and what he shares and what he represents are information, clear text facts about Pokemon. How could that way of portraying information be um, interpreted for somebody who are not feeling that this is the right thing to do, feel injustice, feel lied to, a DLC that happening of course last few months ago, and even more so I guess Pokemon Home makes more sense now. Why are people offended here? The discussion is unfortunately, Yo only responds with his fact, what he stands for. He doesn't solve any conflict, he just, he is not personalized why he thinks the way he do, he responds with the facts. And somebody that feel wronged don't care about the facts. They don't. They're, that's not what they need. 
they actually need comfort. It's been proven time and time again that um, an opinion that is based on feelings needs to be matched with that feeling. You don't need to agree, I think that's the important part to remember, but you need to understand why that person feel the way they do. It could be that simple that you could just, or what this conflict stage or phase needs in a leadership situation is that you are able to receive their information, understand their feelings. If you, I, I've seen many people here that were offended, that thought the DLC was a big deal. It was that because of the money, not because of the Pokemon. It was the change that they needed money to define their value in Pokemon. For somebody, it could feel scummy. It could feel like they need to invest in something they haven't planned for, and people value money differently. What is $16 to me is maybe nothing to maybe somebody in the age of 14 that maybe only gets $20 a month. It has to be taken into consideration. Why would that be a big deal for somebody who only get 20 in contrast to me that gets absolutely more than 20 People need to be respectful here. You need to understand them. If somebody doesn't think it's worth it, they should be allowed to not think so. They should be unable to converse, but you should also be able to say why you don't think it's a big deal. But saying those absolute truth and something like I said that Joe Merrick unfortunately did, responded with facts and not acknowledge people's frustration, that's how you escalate conflicts. That's how you get mob culture involved with you, because all of a sudden you are taking a stand for something that they have a personal value to us. You're tugging them away from what they should feel. You're ignoring their development and their processes, and that offends people. Uh, you will come off as rather cold. Like I said, this type of face need a lot of support and um, need a lot of people with the right mindset to be able to lead these people they should be feeling this way but how can you converse and move on it's actually an interesting concept that this is something that many groups are actually getting faced on do you have a passion something happens we have a phase two of conflicts where people are tugging each other for more towards their personal values somebody valued it this situation is not a big deal but somebody else do and they are not being seen by the person who don't think it's a big deal and it could come off as rather cold and as I said before as I said of course cold but also really narrow-minded and rather naive and arrogant and you don't want to be portrayed like that people can respect you for listening like I said the agreement is not the important part here it never will be as these Changes will happen all the time. So it's a part of a group dynamic. Phase three is something called trust and structure. This is where most people have come to an agreement. This is this is what's happening now. This is the acceptance phase, basically. And um, how do we make the best out of it? It could be anything. But in this part, I would say, how do people make the most out of Pokemon Go? Many people feel already that, while well, it's too early to say, of course I've ever seen the real reaction from most people that are right now still kind of hurt. But the natural responses so far has been just that, that, you know, I can see the values here, I can, I know exactly what I can do, I can send off the TM moves from previous games, I see, I see a chance here, I see an opportunities that I can abuse or that I can use. This part usually just needs to be very specific about the goal. Why Why do I need to pay this? Well, I can get my Pokemons over. Uh, that's incredible. I can save my Pokemons on a, on a hub. Do I need that? I do. So it makes sense for me to get it. It's, it's my part. I probably also do, in this phase, I'll also look at the people who aren't cons considering trading or getting this. Am I able to help them? Do I see that as my calling? We're gonna have a lot of people that most likely will think just so. And that's great. This phase is usually how it develops like 
this is acceptance phase and after this in in a big group like in a Pokemon community this will mean that next time we will go back to the safety <laughs> safety part of a phase where we will just be very polite talk about Pokemon this is our passion and wait for the next change to happen people being offended again and then transpire you know, it's basically what it is uh, most when it comes to smaller community one says that if you you can develop the phase four the phase four is more consulting um, analytic uh, this is something that I think influencers should be able, influencers should be able to do um, they should take a good look upon how they developed the situation and what could have done to prevent certain situations and um, here is here's the tough part here's where you need to be self-critic no matter if you did something good or bad you need to find out what you did that was good or bad for these changes has been made I can absolutely say that I think most influencers right now need to consider one thing and only really one thing if you want to state your own opinion don't use it as fact be extremely firm with that it's your personal opinion this is something you believe in it's easier for somebody of a different opinion to value your thought process to understand what you mean saying people are haters saying they are mobbers and that they are actually just gonna quote one of a friend of mine that they are on crusade to bring down Game Freak is minimizing a really big response from a lot of people if you don't understand why people are offended should you really call them out for being offended it's actually something worthwhile to talk about it's I would find it very disrespectful if somebody was just calling me offended without knowing why I was offended I could tell you why but would I if you were already having this misconception and already knowing what I feel without consulting to me about it it's very disrespectful and as an influencer um, your merit is one of many there has to be a defined reaction I said this about a drive you can have your personal opinion but by God own it tell them it's yours don't use fact to enforce your opinions nobody cares about that when it's your personal opinion the facts doesn't matter it is why you think the way to do you do so yeah this is my shot at it I really just wanted this out of the way I'm actually been considering you know people or a lot of people are misunderstanding frustration as something of being negative it's now it's about this process is natural it happens in every community every day it happened in groups in families understand it respect it and use it to your benefit that's the only chance that you will grow and learn from this so with that said guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed these types of episode I love to get in actually in trying to talk more about leadership and how to prevent tougher situation but also how to use them and grow from them but only of course if you think it's an interesting concept if not Pokemon is what I do that's what I burn for that's my passion so with that said thank you for watching and take care